You know, Lyle, I've got a question for you. So when is it correct in a card game to do absolutely nothing uh, in order to win? Well, this, I've got a prime example of that for you in this video. Uh, I won't give the game away. You know, the game will be given away pretty quick once you see the, uh, the opener, but uh, this was one of the most interesting matches I've had where I just had to do nothing in order to win. This vid is sponsored by Ridge. Um, and I was meant to have the next part out uh, this week, uh, but I'm waiting on a prop. So I promise once that arrives, the next little uh, serial will be coming up. Don't worry, the boss won't find me. I fled the country, but I still managed to get a sample of Ridge wallets with me. It's the Sleep Titanium Edition. I've got all my holiday money and fake ID in it. Yeah, we're still giving them 10% off with Code Dane. I've got a new supplier coming in. Yeah, it's safe. The boss doesn't know about it. Goodbye. Oh, wait, they're trying to they're trying to get go after quest lock, and I'm going after them. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? Oh wow! Fuck me! What's this? What is this? Oh, you better not be in a fire priest. Ugh. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, I, I won't be able to, He's probably got full combo now. Hoarding all of his cards. What a dis disgrace. Me too, I'm hoarding cards. What can they do? Like they can do like forty plus. I suppose if they if they copy uh, divine, then uh, they can do a lot more, right? I can't play minion because they'll just they can take it now and kill me with it. In the dark, yeah, it's good. Not really red. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But that's gonna that that could be good. Just stop the damage. That's right. Ooh, there's Baron Lad. I'm in trouble here. It's like I'm kind of stuck. If I play a minion, he'll take the shield off me. Because he'll uh, potion it, bang in. I still have one shield charge after this, which might matter. I hope you like my invention. Yeah, I'll probably be on this time tomorrow as well. Get screwed yet? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I, I have to kill the minion that I'm playing. I'll play this. All the minions have to die. I'm gonna overdraw a card, but that's fine. It's not important right now. What is important that? Our minions have to die, right? I wonder. 
Because he, he, he'll steal it. I have to protect my beautiful uh, bulwark. He'll reduce the attack on it, yeah. I, I don't really want anything to be on board right now. I simply must keep this bulwark activated. I might do uh, Dead Man's after this. It's hard to navigate around this game. Yes, but how? Yeah, but how? Like, I need to make him commit. They need to commit their, in, their entire, like, uh, repertoire of, of spells, right? They need to do Divines, all the other buffs, and then I can play Barov. I'm going to Deadman Sand this turn, so I have options. Can he really kill you if I want to? Yes. Because he'll have that card that costs zero mana. Depending on how many spells you have in your hand, I think it gives like three five. There you go, look. Yeah, he doesn't know, doesn't know what to do, lad. He doesn't know what to do. The best uh, solution is just to uh, just to chill. We're just gonna chill out. No minions are getting played. Nothing. He's not getting anything off me. And I have Dead Man's hand now, so that means uh, <clears throat> that means I can play. Oh yeah, no worries, lad. No worries. Same to you. I'll just get rid of this battle rage. It's never getting played. There's a wave of apathy. Hey, listen, I'll win this due to fatigue. <laughs> Yeah, eventually, like, I'll get out of range, right, with, with armor. Just saying that, though, I'm sure he can deal hundreds of damage to me. He probably could actually deal hundreds of damage. Yeah, yeah we just don't play anything. My hand is full. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I, I'm protecting the... Uh, I'm protecting the bulwark. You know. <laughs> this is it. I mean, this is the only way to play this matchup. It's it's on him to make a move. He has to make a move. If he doesn't, you know, he's going to ban his cards. My hand is full. <laughs> Uh, we're up against a fire, but he needs a minion. I ain't giving him a minion. My hand is full. It is. It's, it is actually riveting gameplay because it requires a lot of setup. I have to set this up. I have to know exactly what I'm playing against from turn one. It, it, this is a brilliant match. It may look like shit. This is a brilliant match. I set up the bulwark, 1 HP on the bulwark. We've danced around each other's win conditions, yeah. Well, my, I've danced around his win condition. His only chance is to play a minion and buff it up and hope it sticks. But we all know that's impossible because I'm just going to play Lord Barov. And I dead man's hand before to get the fatigue advantage. So as we as we sit here burning away our cards, know this: I won't give in <laughs> to the temptation of playing wrath. Say that right now. That might tempt him. Right, that might tempt him. He just saw a skipper get banned. Maybe, maybe that might, maybe that might entice him. <laughs> Trying to entice him. No. Short of 
I have an iron will. I'm not gonna play a card, mate. <laughs> uh, that's the best game I've had all night, genuinely. That's how you win. God, I love that man's. Oh, that's good. I'll save this because I might be able to gain more armor with it. We'll see. I do love it, you know, I'm all, I do love Dead Man's, you know. Great. It's a great deck, like. Sometimes, you know, if you have a mental block and think, oh, this this deck won't work on, on the current ladder, then it won't work. I'm just going to play this out because he's unlikely to uh, kill it, I don't think. Usually quest mages don't have damage, they have like, they have freeze effects typically. Card generation. Uh, he won't be bothered anyway, if he's like Antonidas, um, he should have enough damage anyway just to, to get through like 100 armor. Uh, I am going to set up a board and battle rage though. Uh, there you go, there's Wrath and Sabotage. I'm gonna dead man's this. 100% dead man's there. I'm play this out. Already? Hmm. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Never mind. Must have evocation in his hand already. Dead then, yeah. Wait, what? Okay. 
Well, basically, he's going to take two turns, so either... Yes, I've forced him to kill me now, basically. I'm basically forcing him to kill me now. I'm saying you need to have your combo now. It's probably a good thing, actually, because it puts him on, on clock. Save five mana. Yeah, it's true as well. It's saving me time, though. Okay. Okay. Didn't that make no difference? Oh, I guess he used the card, right? So basically, if he doesn't have his other... He has another apprentice in his deck, so I basically forced him into, like, um... Into finding his other apprentice now, I suppose. I wonder if he knows he's got another turn. Did he know that? Would he have played it differently if he knew that? <laughs> like, if he had his evocation and his biscuit now, would he have played that differently? Oh, this is a good play. Um, I guess we just play this. I don't think he knew he was going to get two turns, honestly. Like, if he knew he was going to get two turns, I think he would have held all of those cards that he tried to play. Let's play this out. So he's got another Apprentice and another Flame Waker. And two cards in hand and five in deck. I'm relying on you. Fuck, to absorb damage. Fuck! We should still be okay. How much are, I've got lots of health on board. Like that Armor Smith, him separating the Armor Smith basically has done the same- him doing that is doing the same thing as the Armorsmith would have done. It's given me more stats, right? Okay, now it's over. <laughs> Do you think you got Flame Ward? Nah. Well played. That yeah, sabotage has actually been pretty good. Why don't you check them videos out there? They look alright.